G'day Carbonites, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved here on the Carbonite server. Uh, I don't need that, it's uh, raining so I'm quickly going to fucking smash one of these things out. Where, where's the other one I need? Sabarit, there it is. Um, shit, I, I really want to get another... Ah, oh, shit, I need to make a crop plot. Let's make that, and then while we're waiting... Oh yeah, nice. Rubber tree's growing. Let's uh, put that in there. And that... Oh, we don't have any fucking fertilizer. And... You... There. Don't... There we go. Put that in there. Okay, so that's... Um, they're all getting irrigated now, which is good. We just need to grab some fertilizer for these guys. I'm just going to take it all. Nope. And we got three left, so let's um, put another one in there. Another one in there. Another one in there, beautiful, okay. Now let's fix this up so we're not jumping over the fucking thing all the time. Let's do that, and we're gonna be one short, but I can make another one. Ah, awesome. All right, so I'm happy with that. Hello. <laughs> How's this going? Alright, it's going to take a while. But anyway, what I um, wanted to do um, at the end of the last episode is we have um, Pillars Plus on, on this mod. I mean, not <laughs> we have Pillars Plus on this server. Which is um, a mod that looks very, very good. I've never actually used it though. Let's go for the sloped wooden pillar. Um, is there different sizes? Uh, they're stone pillars. These are the wooden pillars. Okay, so that's a round one. That's a round one. Yeah, this is the one I want. Let's make a couple of these. We'll whack them down there in number one. And basically, we can build out our pillars for support. Not not that our structure needs it. It's just so it looks legit, if you know what I mean. Does E do anything? No. Okay. So, it looks like it depends on which way you're facing. Actually, it looks like it just fucking spazzes out and does whatever the fuck it wants, like arc building normally does. I just want to, like, I, wa I want you to go back towards the building, you know, logically. No. Alright, well that one's going to work. Let's try it out. Okay, maybe... Oh, here we go. Okay. Um... Holy shit, look at all these fucking settings. Okay, so we can set the length. That's currently one. Um, what would it need to be? At least three, wouldn't it? Uh, math isn't working today. Yeah, so that drops it down to the foundation. And we can actually set the angle to have it go back towards the wall and stuff as well. Do they... Yeah, okay, so you can't just walk through it. Actually, blocks. Uh, there was thickness as well. Let's, let's try a thickness of 2. Not 20, 2. That's pretty cool. It's a shame about the um, nub on the end. It looks a little dicky, but... Will you shut the fuck up, door? Jesus. Jesus. 
Let's move these guys out of the way. <laughs> of course I can't move. Not with you. What if we come from this side? Look, you're in the fucking way. Go over there. Keep going. Fuck. There. That's what I wanted. Okay, set so the length. Now, it's probably going to need to be, what, three and a half? Probably four, actually. Now, three and a half will work. And, uh, yeah, and now it looks like, you know, it's actually being supported by something. We're going to have to change the thickness of that, too. Thickness of two. I don't like the color. I don't like that it's the, um, the inside. You should be able to change that, whether it's the inside or the outside uh, wood color. Um, you can set the slope. Oh, you can set the rotation. Okay. Okay, where the fuck did that go? Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter where the fuck it is. You just just plop it on there and then set your own rotation. Oh, fucking, that's, that's cool. Yep, it goes right down to the end. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's just the color. Cause it, oh, it just, Let's try making it smaller. It's just, it stands out so much against this fucking, this dark color. Let's do a um, 30 degree slope. Okay, that's not what I meant. Let's go 60. We're going to have to... I wonder if we can access it from in there. Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, set length. Let's make it a 2.9. Yep. I think it looks better when it's up against the wall. Yep, not poking through. Looks good. Yeah, that, that looks better. <laughs> what was it? Like 10 minutes. I hope I fucking I cut some of that out. 10 minutes I've been screwing around at the start of this episode with that. Um, Alright, I did want to check how much that actually got irrigated from that rain. So 390, 300, yeah, about, about 400, so it's not too bad. Oops, it's, uh, it's still habit for me to press E on the doors, even though they're automatic. All right, we need to, we need to start thinking about our PVP base. Honestly, I, I don't think I have enough metal to be making it out of metal, but it seems like everyone else on the server is going straight for metal, which is a little worrying, actually, because I, I, yeah, I don't feel like I have that much metal. Um, I did just unlock um, steel. That's going to take even more because I've got to make the steel and you've got to use metal. We could go with the glass. I think the glass takes... Yeah, glass takes less metal, uh, but in replace of it is crystal. But there's a, there's a fuck ton of crystal out there and... Yeah, I've got a shit ton on us. We could do that. Wait, can you... 
Can you pick up the glass structures? I don't think you can. And I'm going to need to do that a lot because I I'm never I never place it right the first time. I always like to try out ideas, so I might be actually better off investing in the maybe the Oh, what about the glass structures in this one? Yeah, they cost the same as the other one. And these one I'll, these ones I'll be able to pick up. All right, we're going to do that. Cuz I know that it's going to save me resources in the long run. All right. Um no, not metal. Glass and then glass foundation. We can only make 15 because we need cementing based. Alright, well, I'm gonna, yeah, craft up some materials, I guess. Um, there's not really anything else I could do. Um, I guess while, while that's being crafted... Let's go for some walls as well, like just fucking queue up a bunch of shit that I know we're going to need. So definitely ceilings. And let's go some glass walls as well. I don't really want to make it entirely out of glass though. Oh, I can, I can change the settings on these though, so that'll be alright. Uh, yeah, we'll do that and then make some more ceilings. Just fucking use it all up. Okay, so while that's happening, I will go and collect some more metal. If I can fucking get this Anki out. Go over here, bear. I need to remember to close all my doors and shit. <laughs> I'm used to just, you know, leaving everything open because it's only single player. But I need to get into the habit of, of closing everything. Okay, so I picked up quite a bit of metal. I didn't clear out the whole uh, place like I normally do. But I did... I did get, yeah, a few thousand. And I'll take that. I may as well take all of that, actually. Seeing as we got it right here. 15,000 health. Nearly 1,600 melee damage. It's ridiculous. Honestly, the bears need a nerf. And... And that's coming from someone who loves the feeling of being OP. Do I want to build this um, right here? Is it like, is this where we want to start? I know I do want it um, in line with the trees, so the structure above us is going to be in line as well, and it'll look good. But it doesn't need to be directly under it. We could offset it. If we do this, if we build it here, will they go underneath the ground? No. Doesn't rise up or anything? That's pretty cool. Because ideally I'd like to have the base out here, I think. Or at least like the, maybe the crafting area. Oh no, that'd, that'd be dumb making the crafting area here. Considering we're going over there for metal. I guess it doesn't really matter when you have a Quetzal. I could put it on the fucking roof if I wanted. I might even do that. Make one of my Quetzal pits again. I'm just winging this. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I haven't even like thought about the shape or anything. And, and this is our permanent base. I need to, I need to think, 
about how we're going to protect it. Okay, so I've been thinking about it and I think it'd be better for me just to plan out the rooms first. So ideally I'd like the kitchen area to be the first area I walk into. Um, because I'm not going to be I'm not going to be walking into the crafting area so much. I'm going to be flying in with the Quetzal or something like that. So I think having the crafting area at the back here is going to be alright. And then I'd like um, a couple of rooms off the side so I could have um, like a greenhouse room for all our plants and then off the other side maybe like a um, breeding area or something like that. Alright, so we're going to have double gates so it needs to be an even number for me. Um, I think four wide is going to be alright. Let me just have a look at my... Damn it, I did it again. I pressed E on the door. Let me just have a look at... Like, the, the stuff that we're going to be putting in there. Uh, the reason why I was checking all those is because I don't want to just have a box. And just, like, pl put everything up against the walls. That it, It's... I don't know. It's boring. So, what I was thinking of doing is having... Uh, like, building a, a couple of tiles out. And then we can put walls with shelvings on it, and I don't know. It just it create a different, a different shape. So ideally, I'm gonna want quite a few fridges, um, at least five, I think. And then we're gonna need some storage um, for the spoiled meat. So we could do that right next to the fridges. That way, um, when the when we take the spoiled meat out, we can put it straight in the fridge. But I'd like the spoiled meat to be close to where we're um, making the um, <laughs> um, like narcotics and, and shit like that. So maybe having the fridges up here, up this end. I can always pick these up, but well, I don't know why I'm just... Like that. And then I'd like a walkway into the uh, greenhouse area. And I'm going to leave this section off uh, for now. But ideally I'd like a walkway directly adjacent to it. So I'll just do that to mark it. Oh my god, third time. No, actually, I think that's the fourth time this this episode. Um, what are we running low on? Nothing, really. Oh, I've, I've even got some made up. That's fucking awesome. Don't hit it. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm extending it out by one. the fuck am I doing? Well... <laughs> yeah, and then I want to extend it this side as well. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, you're not going to know why I did that until I actually start putting the walls in. It doesn't really need to be that wide though. Seeing as we're going to hide everything in these in these, um, like, little nooks. It doesn't need to be four wide to begin with. We can actually make it two wide. 
so I could get rid of all these. That's going to save some materials. We can always expand the base later on if we need more room. Yeah, the way, bush. I'm going to have to think about um, stopping this episode pretty soon. I don't know how much I cut out. I know I cut out a lot of my just standing here like this thinking for like 20 minutes straight. I know that's all gone. Oh, well, that, that looks like it's going to pop up through the foundation. It is. Oh, well. Alright, so we got... So we're going to come in. These are going to be little nooks. And then we're going to have walls that come out here. This is going to be a pathway. Another wall that comes out here. So we got um, spoilt meat. Fridges down this end. All the other way around, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so we need the industrial grill, which is, we're going to need two tiles for it. And we're also going to need the industrial cooker. Actually, if we put those side by side, they'd fit in a, in a three tile wide section. Actually, I might do it down this end. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because we need to have the walls here. I'll just I'll just place these so you, you can you can see what's going to be happening. I know that place on the other foundation. Don't don't yell at me. They're only temporary. Okay, and then just like you know, imagine the rest of this is all built out with a, a gate here. I'll do this one as well. So I'm going to go, I'm going for cemetery, of course, because, you know, it's, it looks nice. So basically you walk in and then we'll have like all these varying shapes in the walls and everything we need to use is going to be in these little nooks. So we're going to stack up the fridges. Um, oh shit, we need to um, think about making jerky as well. That looks like that's the way to go for me. So, the, it looks like it's just using the same model as the fridge. Which means, okay, so we have... Um, spoilers here. We could have... Um, jerky here. Fridges here, and I can only fit either the industrial grill or the industrial cooker, unless there's another cooker. We could use the bulk dry cooker. I'm pretty sure that's a smaller version. And we could fit that next to the industrial grill. I think that's what we're going to do. All right. And I'm going to call it an episode because I've been going for an hour now. I don't know how long the episode's been. Um, yeah, I'm stressing out. I don't, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to build this in time. So, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know um, what you think. Obviously, I won't be able to see any of the comments until the um, end of the week because this is a bulk recording, but let me know anyway what you think we should do. Um, yeah, because obviously we're going to have next week as well to correct any fuck-ups I've done or, or stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you smash the like button for me. Don't forget to lead your targets, and I'll see you next time.